There is a rumor. I usually don't report rumors, but there is one, and it's important. So opening ceremonies are this Friday evening for the Olympics in Tokyo. The rumor is that the Japanese government is considering stopping the games. Rumor. Okay, why? Well, as of this morning, 71 positive cases of COVID have been attached to the Olympics. 71. All right, 31 among athletes or support and 40 among people, Japanese people working in the Olympic Village. 71. Three Americans have tested positive over there. Kara Aker, she's on the gymnastics team. Katie Lou Samuelson, basketball team. Coco Guaf, tennis team. Okay? Um, they all tested positive. And Aker and Samuelson say they were vaccinated, but I think it's the J&J vaccination. So remember, the Johnson & Johnson one-shot is 66% effective in protection. The one I got, okay, the Moderna, is 90. Pfizer, about 89. All right, we got to get two shots for Pfizer and Moderna. But I'm not, I don't know for sure, but I believe Aker and Samuelson were J&J. So if you got 66% protection, you obviously can get the virus if you're in an area where it's circulating, and it obviously is circulating in the Tokyo Olympic Village. It's obvious, right? Okay, so on Friday, we'll have the torch and all that, but no crowds. All the athletes have to wear masks, all except eating, drinking, training, and competing. They have to wear masks. So they're not going to be very happy over this. There's not going to be a lot of joy. It's not when they, people march out in a parade, they're all going to have masks on. I mean, it's not the Olympics that we're used to. That's for sure. So the um, rumor I gave you comes from Toshiro Muto. All right. And he actually held a press conference. So he's an Olympic official, Toshiro is. And uh, he says, you know, I'm hearing that it could be canceled. Would I be surprised? No. Uh, 